Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video of my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Sorab and I am a free final year medical student. Nowadays, I have made daily use of my iPad. That's why in this video, I will share with you all that how I use my iPad in various different ways. I have been using this iPad, that is iPad Air 5th generation over the past two years. It helps me to get rid of my heavy bags, boring books and also from my messy handwritten notes. So without any further introduction, let's start this video. I have arranged all my apps in my iPad for four different purposes. That is for education purpose, my creative work, lifestyle and entertainment purpose. At first, the most important thing that I do in my iPad that is note taking. I use several apps for note taking, but among them most used app is good notes. Although this is a paid app, the good things about it is you can get lifetime subscription by purchasing one time. You can also use it for free, but only for three notes. As you can see, I can keep all my notes very organizedly in the nice format. I read any books or any notes for coaching institute in this app because it allows me to write anything and to edit it by adding some sticker, photos and etc. I can also open a new notes for taking notes in my lecture classes. I also use this app for my regular journaling like that. I would also like to tell you that I made script for the YouTube in this good note. Next app that I use for note taking that is notes by Apple. Basically, I use this app for taking the day-to-day -day notes that may be various motivational quotes or the movies that I have to watch, the books that I have to read and sometimes some video concept that I have to make for the YouTube and very rarely I also use it for taking my class notes which is not so important. Next app is pages which I use for copy any text from different type of websites and all and paste it to save for later. The next app is Keynotes which is basically the Microsoft PowerPoint of iOS. I can make any type of PPT for my project work in this. There is another information that I like to add here that there is another a very good note taking app that is Notability. But this is little bit of more expensive than good notes. You can also use it because it has a lots of more features than the good notes. I never use this. But some of my friends use it. Hope this information will help you. Next most important app that I used is Maru. It is a neat PG coaching app. I can't show you by opening this because it has copyright issue and Maru is not obviously sponsoring this video. Another app is Preplater which is again a great app and also a neat PG coaching app. I must say that Maru and Preplater is the must have apps of every medical student iPad. Now coming to the creative section which I used for doing many creative works for my YouTube videos and sometimes I like to make my own wallpapers by myself and I have a Instagram channel of my wallpapers you can check it out from the link given below in the description box basically I have to make any animation like moving text for my YouTube video and I app that I mostly use for that is sketchbooks which is really very good and free app for making this type of graphics which you can't make in the other apps you can say this has sort of same features like the very known app called Procreate. Among the various features, one feature which I like the most that is the hidden layer feature. By hiding this layer, I can make any type of stakes with the stickers without any background. And also it has many creative features which is really very helpful. The next app is Genium. I use this app to make my wallpapers and many more aesthetic design. I must say that sometimes Genia give the better quality than the sketchbook. As basically Genia is the app for journaling. It don't have many features like the sketchbook. Now coming to the most favorite app of everyone that is Canva. I personally make all my YouTube thumbnails by using this. Sometimes I use Fonto and Pixart for that and the wallpaper which is sort of a vision board for 2024 that I have set as a wallpaper in my iPad. I have also made this wallpaper by using the Pixar. Now I also have some photo editing app like this tutorials Photoshop and some video editing apps like VBLO, iMovie, Snow and all, which I use very rarely, mostly when I travel only with my iPad. I mostly use my MacBook for video editing, but I have a friend Subham who used the paid app 
called Luma Fusion for video editing in his iPad Pro. You also can use your iPad for video editing if you want to create your content but you don't have laptop. Now coming to some very useful app which I use in my day to day life to increase my productivity in my work and study. Plenty and Study Bunny are the app which I use to increase the study time in very funny way. Now, I use timetable and reminder app so that I can complete my study and balance it with all my work like content creation. I also have some other app that I use like drink water reminder which basically has been done by my mother in the house and the other app called flip clock which helps me to turn this iPad into a very aesthetic clock which you have seen in many of my videos. Nextly, how I use this iPad to chill or for entertainment purpose. I have my various social networking sites like WhatsApp, Instagram, Telegram, Twitter in this iPad and I also have various softwares like YouTube, Amazon Prime Video and all which I use very very rarely because for social network I use always my phone and for watching any video from the YouTube and Amazon Prime I use my laptop. Lastly I want to tell you about some random app like JFM. Basically this app helps you to transfer any big file or videos from Android device to the iPad. Although I have all my Apple devices but some of my friends would like to use Android. That's why most often I have to use it. Lastly, I have these two apps called Widgets and Screen Kit, which really helps me to make very nice and aesthetic widgets for the home screen of my iPad. Now that's all that I have in my iPad. Now let me know in the comment section which app you haven't used yet but you want to use after watching this video. I think this video will help you to use your iPad more efficiently by the help of the app that I have told you. So if you like this video, then please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed my channel, then subscribe it and share this video with your friend who have the iPad or who want to buy iPad. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you.